They waited in the cold and the rain, Catholics, tourists, voyeurs of history, and so much sooner than expected, the white smoke came. The cheers echoed around the Vatican, the potent image from the Sistine chimney declaring a pope had been found. And then the wait. The chanting, the praying, the choreography which this city does so well, filling the minutes until the new leader of the Catholic Church appeared, his name still a mystery to those so desperate to hear it. And then the lights went on behind the curtain balcony of St Peter's, and the moment arrived when the world would learn who the cardinals had chosen. Annuncio vobis gaudium magnum, abemus papam. Dominum Georgium Marium, Sancte Romani Ecclesi Cardinalem Bergoglio. Qui sibi nomen imposuit Franciscum. There was surprise in the crowd, the name unfamiliar, the Argentinian unexpected, a first, and he would be the first man to choose the name Francis to lead. Fratelli e sorelle, buonasera. Brothers and sisters, good evening. As you know, the conclave's purpose was to give Rome a new pope. It seems my cardinal brothers went to the end of the world to get one. But here we are. First of all, I would like to pray for the emeritus pope, Benedict XVI. Let's pray all together for him, so the Lord blesses him and the Madonna looks after him. Now we begin, Pope and people together, this walk through the Church of Rome, which leads the way for all churches. This is a path of fraternity, love and faith between us. Let's pray for one another, for all the world, because there is a great feeling of fraternity between us. He asked for the prayers of those below, among them Catholics from his homeland, who could barely believe what they had seen and heard. Many had come here in faith, many more for the sheer spectacle of seeing a Pope elected, and no one left disappointed. I had no idea who the Holy Spirit would choose for a new Pope, but I'm overwhelmed with joy, you know? He's our Pope, he's our Father. <laughs> to us, uh, uh, the new Pope Francesco is, uh, is God sent. But it still will be exciting to see what, he, what, what will happen. I know change is slow, but um, I think he realizes, he will realize people are, are ready for some changes. Many seemed to care less about who had been selected than the fact a new pontiff was in place. But the choice of Cardinal Jorge Bergoglio made history in so many ways. A Jesuit from Latin America tells of a new kind of thinking amongst cardinals so often wedded to history. Uh, I feel very surprised uh, because I, I don't expect that he will be choose, but I'm very happy. After all the fears of a long, divided conclave, it turns out the cardinals didn't have such a tough time picking their man. They surprised people with the speed of the pick and with their choice. Catholics now have the first Pope Francis, their first Pope from outside Europe in centuries. If he believed the odds on the favourites in recent days, Pope Francis will be as shocked as anyone that he is wearing the robe of pontiff. What won't come as a surprise is that he'll have to grapple with some of the biggest challenges the church he now leads has ever faced. Challenges his peers clearly believe he's up to embracing. Michelle Clifford, Sky News, Rome.